testing. This is a test. Hey guys! Hi! <laughs> Here with Matt. It's my first time living with you. And I thought it would be kind of a fun video to do because in less than a week, we will be moving back to Atlanta and no longer living together. I thought it'd just be fun to talk about kind of this experience. What do your parents think about it? We've been dating for quite some time now and my I parents think, like you. Yeah. <laughs> my parents really like them actually. I think your parents like me. Yeah. So. I think that's important that they, yeah. they trust us. Definitely. Um, now that we're both like good people and we're, yeah, we're a good couple. So. Yeah, so they were very accepting of us being out here together. Actually, my parents were really happy for him to come out here with yeah. me. But, like, that put them at ease because they felt like, okay, she'll be safer, you know? And um, them being at ease put me at ease. So. Yeah. Hi, Mom, Dad. I think a good question is, like, is it taboo to live, you know, cohabitation before marriage? What, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I don't know. I think it's actually pretty good. To, so. to kind of get a feel of what it's going to be like in the future. And, yeah. and it's know, not like we rushed into it. I think we're pretty slow about it as far mm -hmm. as like, okay, let's, let's understand who we are. Let's understand who we are when we're together. Let's, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. it's good to take your time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, honestly, for any of you girls who may be even new to dating or you're dating this guy and you're very unsure, just really take the time to feel him out, you know, take the time to see where that relationship is going. And trust, I think, is like such a big thing. Yeah. Building that trust. Like if you have any inkling of distrust, you've got to work on that. Right. At times, like when I couldn't reach him, that would kind of make me go crazy. Cause like, that would be like, okay, are you, is he okay? If it's like, and I mean like, not just like not being able to reach him within like, you know, 15 minutes. I mean like yeah. a whole day, I'd call him or something, or at night I'll call him. And it's like, I can't reach him. I'm like, I really hope that he just passed out because he is a deep sleeper and that nothing happened to him. Which is pretty much what happened. <laughs> yeah, um, and that, I think that's like a big quirk like of us living together mm -hmm. is sometimes he'll pass out and I'll literally be like yelling like, Matt, Matt, wake up, Matt! And I'll be yelling so loud that I'm, like the neighbors can probably hear me, but he's like still knocked out and I'm like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> I'm that deep of a sleeper. So I guess that can lead into um, how it has been living together, because it is our first time living together. That's true. What do you think? I think it was a great experience. Again, something that we've learned stuff about ourselves as well as our partner and what we do well, what we don't, what we need to improve on and, Definitely. you know, go from there. So when we first moved in, I was like so excited. Like I just, you know, started organizing my stuff into the closet and by the time I was done, he was like, is there any space for me? Like, where am I going to put my stuff? And I busted out laughing because <laughs> I didn't think about, like, I didn't consider room for his stuff at all. I was just like, oh my god, this closet is not big enough. I gotta put my stuff in and organize it. And I knew that was going to happen. I mean, <laughs> but, you know, I, I, let her, I let her be, and especially, like, at the time I was still working at my other job, so yeah. um, I knew I'd be traveling back and forth, living out of a suitcase anyway, so... It was alright, <laughs> but you know, when when like October came around and now now I was here like full time um, living with her, you know, tried to find little nooks and I did. spaces I space to, for him and some my shirts and hangers. And so I think right now I'm up to four hangers out of this whole closet. What? Right. No. Really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I have two little cubbies that I can put my stuff in. So, I okay. love that he cooks. Yeah, he's really passionate about food. He even like shoots food photography, which is one of the reasons why we go out and eat a lot, not just because we're fatties. Because I would prefer to cook at home, honestly. He loves to yeah. cook, so he like a lot of times for dinner he'll cook, and I can't complain because yeah. he cooks really good food, and it's it's really awesome. <laughs> I guess like along with the whole closet thing, I can be quite cluttered with my stuff. And even though he doesn't really say it, he kind of hints at it. Like so. I'm looking around right now, you guys can't see this, uh, but yeah. there's like three areas that I can see that uh, I'm like, I wish Yeah, it like you need that. to be better at that. Yeah. I, I get so like sucked into what I'm doing that, yeah, I need to. I think after living together with someone, you kind of go into like your own roles, you know? And like I feel like 
I've become the one that wants things in certain places. I mean, overall, like, it's been really nice living together. Yeah. I think there may be little things here and there, but we haven't had any arguments, have we? No. But I did ask you guys if you had any questions for us. So let's let's just go ahead and look on Instagram first. LVLIMO98 asked, how and when did you meet your boyfriend? I actually met him at a collaborative photo shoot that I did with another friend. She pretty much brought like a bunch of photographers on and models um, and I was like the makeup artist and I also modeled because she wanted me to. So he was one of the photographers and that's pretty much how we met. But we didn't start dating right away or anything. I actually was dating someone else at the time. I waited. You did wait, huh? Yeah. But he didn't make it obvious at all. Like he pretty much acted not interested in me at all and or like he would give like a, a good amount of attention to the other girls too so that it wouldn't be obvious i guess so that was kind of funny maddie so525 said best and worst qualities about each other which we sort of talked about yeah but is there anything else I'm trying to think best and worst qualities. i guess like the best quality is just how upbeat she is and just you know just fun and quirky <laughs> He's trying, I don't know. he's trying to not get in trouble right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not in trouble. <laughs> I would just say that he's like very patient, an extremely patient guy, and he's so just so supportive of what I do. I think because he's a creative soul too, like he totally gets it, yeah. and like he just wants me to keep doing what I'm doing. So yeah. I really, really appreciate that. No problem. Salaxa asked, How did it all start? So yeah, I told you guys how we met. How did it all start with like us dating, I guess? We were saying goodbye to a mutual friend. Oh yeah. And like, we just started texting. And then yeah. the texting led to a phone call. I called him, because I'm true. like, why does he just call me? Okay, I'm just gonna call him. <laughs> I didn't know if I could or not. Yeah, he I, was I, being... I was being respectful, I didn't yeah. wanna. Because like, he wasn't sure if I was still dating someone else or not. Yeah. And I thought, you know, don't text and drive, first of all. So I was like, I'm gonna call him. And I called him. Codex Shots 8 said, Why did you move to LA? I did a whole video about that. So I'll it. link that down below. Go ahead and watch that. Dean Wynn underscore 1987 asked, Is he Vietnamese too? No, Chinese. He's Chinese. Tacha Montenegro on Facebook asked, Do you guys finish each other's sentences? No. Not really? No, but I think we both know what we're about to say. Usually, I think that comes naturally. Like even yeah. with good friends, you kind of have an idea. You can sort of predict what they're gonna say. Yeah. But typically, he doesn't because he's very patient. So he yeah. waits for me to like finish speaking. Yeah. I, I on the other. I just did it. I like <laughs> listening and seeing what she has to say, and then just like throwing a little quirky sayings yeah. here and there. I, on the other hand, often do try to like finish her sentences because I'm so like, oh yeah, like I want to kind of get my thought in. Sometimes that's a pet peeve for him, because he wants to finish what he says. I get so excited sometimes, I can't help it. Kaylee Newton said, this isn't a question, she just said, aw, he's like a little Asian Ken doll. You guys are so cute. I don't even know what a Ken doll looks like. I thought, I love that comment, Kaylee, thank you. Shirley Liu asked, birthday, age, college major, Matt's ethnicity, college name. So I guess we'll do this in order. Okay. So my birthday is actually coming up, it's on November 3rd. Really soon. College major. I actually majored in finance, and I did, um, I did graduate with a degree in finance. So I just didn't pursue it. It wasn't my passion. What else? Your ethnicity. You just said. All right, so Chinese yeah. and college name. I went to UJ. I went to tech. He, tech he went to rival for school. industrial engineering. So. <laughs> Kelly Howe asked, how many years have you been together? When when do you plan on getting married? And do a boyfriend tag. We've already done a boyfriend tag, as I mentioned earlier on the beauty channel. Check that out. We've been together. Well, I mean like our official date is, is coming up on three, three years. And yeah. but we've probably been together a long time. We've been that. together a little or over three longer, years. Yeah. yeah, we've been together a little over three years, but our official third year anniversary is November 4th, the day right after my birthday. Yeah. Thank you guys for your questions. Some of the other ones I think I will address later on or in another video. Um, but thanks for doing this video. Sure, no problem. Yeah. I'm getting better at this. I know, he knows. She like, has like three, four years of experience on top of me, so. 
<laughs> but yeah, I know he's so used to being behind the camera, not in front of it. So, um, it's which actually, like, if you've noticed a few of the recent videos, were oh, yeah. something that we've been working together on. Oh, my beauty on, so. channel. He's been helping me yeah. more with the filming and production. So let me like know what you guys think. I yeah. really love your feedback. Okay. Thank you to everyone for subscribing to this one. First and foremost, I really appreciate that. And. I know there have been a lot of different requests, like more recipes with my mom, which when I move back to Atlanta, I'll be able to do. And let me know. Feel free to request any other videos, even with us or anything else you can think of. And I will see you guys next time. I got this. Bye. Bye. <laughs>